In this video, you will learn how to index bulk URL using Google Indexing API of the Google Developer Console along with Python application. First, you need to go to the Google search bar and search for Google Developer Console. As you will open the first link and click on the Google Cloud option, the application will show you welcome. Now, you have to click on the My Project option showing on the top left corner. You can see that all your existing projects are already showing here, but we will create a new project by clicking on the New Project option. For creating a new project, you have to fill the details like give an appropriate name to your project, mention your organization name, and location, and click on Create button. In case, if you are not running an organization then you can select the No Organization option and move to Proceed. As you will click on the Create button, the notification option will show that your project has been created along with its timing. From the notification bar, you have to click on the Select Project option and the dashboard of the setting will be displayed to you. By clicking on the top left side panel, you have to go to the APIs and Services and then the Library option. Now, you have to search for the Indexing API option and have to open up by clicking on Google Indexing API. By clicking on the Enable option, you can see the status, type, and name of the service. Here, you have to go to the Credential option from the side panel and open it up for creating the credential. Now click on the Create Credentials button and select the service account. Here you have to fill the details by entering the name of your service account and will have to save the service account ID by copy and paste rule for the further proceed. As we've saved the service account ID by using the notepad here. Then you have to complete the first step from 3 by clicking on the Create and Continue button. In the second option, you have to select your role from the drop-down option of the box. Here, we'll select the Owner option by clicking on the Current Used option of the drop-down button and later click on the Save button. For the third one, you have no need to fill the details, you just have to click on Done button. As you can see, here the credential page is displaying, so you need to click on Service Account's email ID for the next step. Once the link indexing page will open up you need to go to the key section of the page and have to create a new key by click on the add key button. Also, you have to choose the type of the key, as we've chosen the JSON key type here, and then click on the create button. As you can see on the top right corner that the JSON file is downloading on your computer system. Now you have to copy this JSON file and paste it into indexing folder and rename it with account1. Next, you have to search for the Google Search Console application on Google, and open it up by clicking on the first link. To run this application, click on the Start Now button and put the link of your website in the search box. Then go to the Settings option and click on the Users and Permissions option to add the users. Here you have to paste that email address to which you've copied and have to select the role for permission which would be Owner and click on the Add button. You can see here the number of users along with their permissions. Now, you have to go to the Google search bar again and search for Python and will have to open it up by clicking on the download link. Here you can see that we're going to install the latest version of Python which is version 3.11.5, 64-bit, by click on the download button. Now, click on the checkbox option and install. As you can see, Python has been successfully installed to your system. Next, search for the command prompt on your system and click on the run as administrator option. On the command prompt, you have to type pip install tqdma at pandas oauth2 client and press enter. You can also take this command from the description box of the video. Now, you have to open the indexing folder from your system. Here you have to copy the link of the folder in which all URLs are mentioned and paste it into the command prompt. For this, you have to type cd, then paste the link of indexing folder and press enter. You can also get link of the indexing folder in the description box, but you have to replace the JSON file and link of the Google Sheet. Now you have to type python indexing.py and press the enter key again. You can also copy this command from the description box of this video. As you press the enter key, it will ask you how many accounts have you created? As we have one JSON file, so we'll enter one and press the enter. As you can see the process of indexing URLs is processing. You can also check how many URLs you are indexing as we are indexing 17 here. As you can see successful URLs, 17 means all 17 URLs are in the process of indexing. In this indexing process, you have option to index 200 URLs using a single file and you are allowed 5 JSON files which means you can index 1000 URLs. But it will take 3 to 4 days for indexing all URLs. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.